figured out. <laughs> we had a pretty good day. Uh, bunch of soft shell, spiny soft shell, uh, and big old snapper. Make sure I don't get bit. Woo! Take a look at that. Not bad. So we get them in the tank, get them cleaned up. What kind of turtles did we get? Well, one snapper and all the rest are um, soft shells. Yeah, spiny soft shells. So we have started to figure out how to catch these turtles, right? Yep. Yeah. Can't wait to eat them. We're going to let them uh, flush out a little bit out here in this tank. And then uh, a few days from now, we'll get them butchered up. And then what are we going to have? Maybe some turtle soup. Yeah, turtle soup. Woo woo. Sounds good. Got a little snapper, 12 incher. Chompers. He's got big chompers. He's not playing around. It wants to eat that thing. That's how you butcher turtle. Yeehaw. Now, get it hung up, let up, and quarter it up a little later today. I like to get a loop around their rear leg. You can see we've got a few turtles hung up right now. And then I just hang them out to bleed a couple hours. Make sure they're good and bled out. So we got one turtle butchered. Uh, well, at least down to the quarter. And we've got a bunch left to go so let's walk you through it real quick we'll try to be efficient get a sharp knife these turtles will dull your knife quick all i do is i cut along the soft and hard tissue in here all the way around Right along the shell, behind the tail, on these soft shells like this. Lift that tail up, skin, skin it back. Fillet it just right along with that shell, almost like you would uh, a fish. You just fillet it. When I get to a point where I hit some bones or hit some heavy duty cartilage, I get the snips out and I just make it easy on myself so I don't have to dull that knife so much. Makes it a lot faster work, makes it easier on the knife and makes a tough job a lot easier. Get rid of the trash. Got a little bit more cleanup here to do. You can see a beautiful rear half of the turtle. So we're gonna get this Big old snapper, this was a much larger snapper, all cleaned up, skinned up, and get them ready for the pot. So basic process is I chop the feet off after I get a little skinning started. Uh, get those out of there, get those out of the way, and then uh, we get to the meat. I mean, that's where we start. Bro, that's a good one right there. You will notice this big old snapper is not fighting back. And <laughs> if you've cleaned a snapping turtle before, shortly after you butchered it, 
you know all about what I'm talking about. Their nervous system, reptiles in general, after you kill them, they uh, they fight back. So the nervous system still reacts to uh, the knife, right? So as you're skinning, they're pulling their hands back, they're trying to claw you. It's pretty wild, they're zombies. And so what I like to do is after I butcher them, I throw them in ice for a day or two, keep them cool, uh, really make sure the meat stays fresh because that's the first priority as it relates to butchering. And then when they're on ice a couple days, their nervous system uh, is allowed to pass on, right? It's allowed to stop working. And then I don't have to fight this big old snapper the whole darn time that I'm trying to skin it. And it's a lot easier to do. And fact is, uh, <laughs> I like it. I prefer it. I prefer them uh, to stop moving before I butcher. Anyway, that's how I handle a snapping turtle, uh, especially a big old one like this. All right, so we got our turtles out of the shell. We got them skinned. And now we've got all this beautiful turtle meat. So we're gonna wash it, get it in the pot, and then we're gonna get it on the burner, get a boil going. So first things first, we're washing all that, get any of the junk off, because again, we're putting it in a pot to cook it at this point. And so you wanna make sure what you put in the pot is clean. So we got the turtle all boiled up and you can see it's just hanging on the bone and after you boil it an appropriate amount it just pulls right off the bone so this is now what you cook so this will go in the crock pot tomorrow to make turtle tacos and we'll get some footage on that and not only that we're going to do uh, bread and fried on some of the bigger pieces and make uh, turtle fingers so much like chicken fingers but turtle fingers so you can see it just drops right off the bone, uh, super tender after a good boil. And I thought I was going to do about two and a half hours, ended up doing three to get it to this point. But it is really, really nice. And it, you can see it'll pull really nice for those pulled tacos, that kind of thing. So that's how we get turtle to a point where you can actually chew on it without gnawing on it for a half hour like jerky or something like that. Well, that's a wrap. So we got the turtle out of the crock pot. Got a little barbecue sauce on it, mixing it all up for tacos. And I'm telling you, wild game does not have to have antlers. These uh, these turtles are solid. They're a really, really good option. Uh, they're pretty darn available. Nobody really chases them. You want some good wild game to share with your friends and family? Turtle might just be it.